one. Ignition and lift off of the SpaceX will attempt to launch two unnamed individuals paying customers said to be very serious about traveling around the moon and back. They've already put down what's described as a significant deposit. We haven't done this since Apollo 8 back in 1968, and we haven't been back to the moon since 1972. So this is indeed an exciting development. What happened is uh, Elon Musk started SpaceX to go to Mars. He himself says he wants to go to Mars and colonize Mars. And I've always maintained that the moon is a great waypoint, a great stepping stone on the path to Mars. So it's exciting for me to hear about his plan to begin by orbiting two people around the moon. We don't know how much the week-long journey will cost, but the company says it'll take the amateur space travelers near the moon's surface and then further out to space before looping back to Earth. It's a distance of more than 640,000 kilometers. They'll be on board what's called a Dragon crew capsule, a fully automated spacecraft with no human pilot. Musk says the individuals are fully aware the mission comes with risks. SpaceX has had major accidents, including in September last year when a rocket taking a $200 million satellite from Facebook blew up. An investigation concluded there was a problem with one of its helium tanks. Two, one. Recently, though, the company has had a series of successful launches and landings. The United States hasn't sent astronauts to the moon since 1972. This trip, planned for late next year, could be the first of many more to come. Elon Musk has held several meetings with the new president, and the new president is interested in going back to the moon, which, as I said earlier, makes a lot of sense on the path to going to Mars. And so I'm not surprised, not totally surprised, that Elon Musk is now thinking about the moon and talking about the moon. Control the spacecraft. Musk says if all goes all well next year, he hopes to send more people in into space situation. once or twice a year. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.